Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, the Butter What Show once again. Uh, I'm still Pat Regan. This is my co-host, Brian Moses. And we've got a handful of uh, 3D printing projects from around the, the Internet. Oh, Brian, I didn't tell everybody that this is recorded live on YouTube. A live, a live studio audience. Yeah. On, Out in the world. Usually on the, always on the first Tuesday of every month, but... This particular one happened special on a different Tuesday in the middle of the month on a different Tuesday. But we'll take but it. But it was a Tuesday in the month. Do you know what this is, Tubby? This first I know what one? this is. You sent me the video and I knew it, what it was from the thumbnail and I was excited about tell it. Tell me tell me how this works as best you can. It's a pull copter. What? It's like Well, it go. You just you decide. <laughs> you uh it's got teeth, it's geared, it's a propeller. I mean, it's essentially a propeller. Yep. And you like yoink a on it. Lawnmower. And, the, and that, like a lawnmower. And that thing took off. I mean, we had these toys when we were kids, but they, I don't remember them taking off like in that video. And I mean, this one's a ring. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I really wanted to print one of these, but I forgot to do it. So maybe I'll show mine off next month. Or yeah, two I hope weeks so. I, when we do this. And, yeah, in two weeks. I. But this is fantastic. Which, it's such an easy looking print. It just needs a, three screws of some size or another. Does he say? Oh, and I should be telling small. you who. Yeah, who is this guy? Well, I'll put it up on the screen, but I don't know if I'm supposed to pronounce it or spell it or. So we'll, uh, okay. we'll just put it up on the screen. Will that be and okay? We'll put links at. We'll put links in the video description, right? Yep, we will definitely have links in the description. And I'll put it on the screen. I'm trying to put everything on the screen this week. I'm going to do a better job. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And what do you have in your hands there, Tubby? I have something that my son, he was watching, I guess, YouTube Kids on one, I think it was the weekend morning. He came in and he woke me up and he said, he said, Dad, I found something on my tablet it's something that you can 3D print, and you can 3D print it, so you can, you can make it for me right now. Shut the front I door. Was, I was super excited about that because, I mean, the fact that he connected, you know, the video that he saw on YouTube to the fact that I could, I could make it for him. So and that, Gunner is only 27 years old now. Yeah. <laughs> Give or take 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it's called a scissor snake. And he's he's been fascinated with it. In fact, I had to I had to bribe him to get to let to let him to get him to let me borrow this for our for our little show here. I hear it squeaking. Um, Make it squeak. It squeaks a lot. Is it louder over by the mic? A little bit. So this is just like when I was a kid watching cartoons. There'd usually be a. Um, and a, I don't know if you can you can see it. It's got a grabber. It's got teeth. Yeah, I mean it's it'll bite you. Printed. But this is on Thingiverse over in this the is on Thingiverse. There. Yep, yep. And it's uh, it's print and place. It's got different sizes. This is like the medium size. Now I kind of want to print the big one, but Tubby, one of them's called the Magnum. Is it really? It really is. The Magnum Revision A. That's awesome. Super? Yeah, the Super was... Oh, geez, the Magnum is narrow and lots of... Lots of links? Lots of small links. The Super is more Magnum than the Magnum. Maybe. Oh, the Curvy, there's weird ones. All right, now I have to print one. I'll be back. It's, I'll see you guys it's later. It's a lot of fun. It is a programmable, magical camera slider. And I'm trying to find where they show us what it looks like here. This is a 3D printable. Our friend Alex in the chat, if he's still here, he, he bought a thing like this, which is pretty awesome. Oh, jinkies. This one's controlled by... Like a gamepad, right? A gamepad, a Bluetooth yeah. gamepad. 
but it will pan, tilt, and slide. And I think it can, the control of that little spinning puck there that he has the Pokemon on, that's tied in also. So you can script this all out to, yep. you know, perform a motion. Some, it looked uh, like quite a project. It was, I was tempted to, to you know, and he has it up out. overhead here. Look at it go. Look at it. Uh, it is a big piece of machinery to make some amazing B roll. Yeah, if that's your the sort of thing you need. Look at that. You can get one of the get some of the espresso coffee making. Chris shots. knows what that was. That's a Rubik's cube. That's a. But it's too complicated. Chris can't do this one. That's a big brute. I was about to say that's a. Is that four by four? Extra. But it's pretty neat. Oh, I'm supposed to tell you who this is from. This is from a YouTube channel called Fuzzy Logic. We'll have a link to that in the description. And it looks like he has source code for the whole thing up on GitLab. If I was smart, I would have checked to see what the license is, but I don't see a license. No license, so make of that what you will. I would be very excited about this if I happened to order a Prusa Mini, and I almost did. There's a Prusa Mark III standing next to me here. Mark III S. Mark III S. When my old printer failed, I said I should just buy a Prusa Mini. This is all the printer I really need. But then the lead time to get one, I think my printer died in March, and they told me maybe I'd have one in... September? I yep. said, no, I can't wait till September. And they, so I ordered the MK3. But they have a set of 3D printable legs for your Prusa Mini now to make it actually mini. Because the Prusa Mini's small, but where do you put the filament and where do you put the power supply? Close to it. Close to it, like next to it there, but now he's... Uh, Oh, look at that. He's like, yeah, we should totally find a way to put these underneath. It's a big print job, though, Tubby. It's a, It looked like a lot of work. It's some, like three quarters of a spool of filament to okay. make this. I know a thing or two about big print jobs. Multiple yeah, you do. spools of filament. Crank the crap out of that, slide them on. Screw the front panel back on. I mean, there's some effort involved here. They move the USB port and the power switch to the front, I think. Yep. Yeah, there's the switch in the front. Little trays to catch all your droppings, your little dribbles of, uh, you know, those little bits of plastic that go that you lose when you're scraping them off the bed they're like dust bunnies but you need it you need a word a little slot for your extra spring steel plate your print bed but yeah i think they did a good job i'm bummed out that i need to take the time to print a kilogram and a, no not a three quarters of a kilogram yep of stuff but it's pretty slick. I like it. It's a cool it's a cool option, right? You don't have to you don't have to. It's completely unnecessary. Yep. So you know, it's something that you can decide to do after you buy the printer. It's not gonna increase I mean it's not gonna make the printer more expensive. Like if it was an option to buy it, you know, as you know, straight from Prusa when you ordered your Prusa Mini. Um but yeah, I think it's neat, especially you know if you're trying to get more more things around it. If you're if you're tight on space, or if you're trying to build out like a printer farm, like if you had a if you had a six foot shelf, how many more printers could you fit on that shelf? Yeah, could you get one more in the line if yep. uh, everything is tucked in? I like it, Tubby. That's that's my vote. What do you what do you find folks out there in YouTube land think? Did did Brian and I do a pretty good job today? If we did, you can uh let us know by hitting that like button down there. Or 
maybe you want to leave us a comment and let us know if we're doing a good job. And if we didn't do a good job, that's something you can leave in the comments too. You can tell us why we were wrong, what we did wrong, how stupid we are. You can tell everybody you don't like my haircut. We live stream the recording of these episodes on the first Tuesday of every month, and we're inviting you to come join us. Make sure you subscribe to the Butter What channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future live streams and episodes. You, know, you don't even have to wait until the next live stream. You can come and hang out with us in Discord and participate in our community over there. There's a link in the description. So if you want to check that out, you can definitely do that. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope we get to see you next time.